Hey guys, and welcome back to another Warframe video. Um, in Update 21, um, they introduced a new feature where you could dual wield a single pistol and a throwing uh, glaive weapon. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's really simple, and the mechanics of it, of course. First things first, obviously, it has to be a single pistol. Um, you cannot dual wield um, with this uh, quite yet, or probably never in the future, honestly. And when I first heard about this, I thought for sure... Um, we'd be able to use a uh, uh, board and shield, as they're called, where you have the shield and a, um, a uh, board, I guess, like an axe or whatever. Um, I thought for sure, um, basically, what would happen is you'd have the uh, shield, and then you'd have a pistol here, and then you could use the shield to bash, like shield lancers. Uh, hopefully, they do something like that in the future, because that'd be pretty cool, but it is restricted to the um, throwing weapons. Obviously, the throwing weapons got a buff. Um, all of them got slight buffs um, to their damage or their crit chance or status chance. Um, the Helicar and Glaive Prime have the highest status as far as I can tell. The Glaive Prime has a 33% chance on its uh, thrown attack, which means you can get uh, 80... Oops. You can get 92% with uh, dual stats, which is pretty good. But I prefer the Helicar uh, because you can actually disable enemy weapons. And this system is very simple. When you switch to your single pistol, it will automatically equip your uh, glaive as well. And you can tell that this is equipped because, well, first the bottom right says the Mara Detron and Halakar. And your reticule changes to this circle. Now what you want to do is you can, you can quick attack like normal. And you can fire your weapon. But now you can also hold down your weapon, and you'll see you'll see that blue thing that just appeared. When when you let go your glaive during when it's blue, you deal double damage. Um, it might deal more status or more crit as well. But as far as I can tell, um, just from basic testing, um, all it does, as far as I know, is just double damage, which is still really good. Another thing is when you throw this uh, melee in this mode, um, you automatically bullet jump, but it's actually a special kind of bullet jump. And I'll, sh I'll show you what that means. See, a normal bullet jump, right when you start, you're already starting to fall a little bit. But with this uh, melee mode, when you charge, you're actually steady. You're actually going, you don't drop is what I'm trying to say. Like, you're not affected by gravity as much or at all. So what you can do, is, which is kind of funny, is if you time it right, you can actually just glide across the ground a little bit. It doesn't actually help you gain momentum or anything. But this is great because you can go up in the air, charge it up, and you have a chance to aim directly at the person that you want to hit. And basically, the reason I'm using Voban is I have a special build here, which is focused on his survivability. So Prime Flow, Rage, Quick Thinking, um, some Shield Recharge, and then Prime Vigor and Redirection to get the maximized uh, shield amount. Um, obviously, this isn't max, though. And of course, I have Rapid Resilience on two which basically means that, that the majority of procs, like Slash, Toxin, and Heat, only last one tick on the uh, player, so sh your shields have a chance to recharge quicker. You can replace this with something else, um, but this is what I prefer. And basically, the reason I'm using Voban is this is basically a Riot Control Officer build, where I'm focusing on using his um, Tripwire, or Trip Lasers, rather, to complement the Thrown Glaive. Um, especially because it's the Halicar, I can disable enemies' weapons, and then they rush toward me. And if I have a tripwire down, they also trip, which allows me to do a finisher. This might kill them. See, now she's disabled. Now she's going to run toward me, and now I can do a finisher. Oh, and I'm almost dead here. Jeez, okay. This is a bad idea. Maybe I should be using the weapon. <laughs> That'd probably... Yeah, okay, well... Yeah, these are only level 20, but, and even with the uh, shield recharge, the extra shield, um, Boban's still dying, because Boban's still a very squishy frame, um, compared to something like Rhino or Neza, which can both um, ignore, see, oh, oh, I almost did it. See, now she's, now she's, they're, they're disabled right there, so they run at me, and now I can do a melee finisher. Sometimes it bugs, I've noticed it bugs, I'm not doing anything right now, it just, yeah. There's, there's a couple bugs with it. Um, all throwing uh, melee weapons, sometimes they never come back. They'll just keep swirling around you, and then we'll do something like there. I actually stopped pressing E, but it just kept attacking for some reason. So it's still a little buggy, but it is pretty fun to play like this. Um, at least on lower levels where you're not going to die as quick. So you can just like disarm enemies, watch them as they come towards you, and then just do the finisher on them. And then you can also use your weapon as well. 
Obviously the Sonicore would be uh, great for this to maximize your crowd control. I just decided to use the uh, Mara Detron because the uh, Sonicore would just blast them off the map um, and I wouldn't be able to demonstrate the finishers. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.